Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be playing Stardew Valley, which I, um, I'm not gonna lie, I played for like one day in the game, like one cycle, so, um, I, uh, I really stopped myself though after not even maybe like 10-15 minutes and I decided I should make a video of like a first playthrough type of thing. So, that being said, let's get started. So, I'm gonna start a new farm here. Um, my name, let's, let's name myself Bad Cat. And we're gonna name it, what should we name our farm? Shoot Farm. Any fans of The Office will understand that. Although it should sit, have an S on the end. Favorite thing. Plants. I like plants. Okay. So, let's see. These, uh, these little eye color things are pretty fun. I, um, in real life, I suppose I have about uh, like greenish eyes. So I guess that looks green. I don't know. These are kind of... Oh, whoa. That's like aqua green. I don't know. We'll just go with that. We'll just go with that. Um, try to make myself... Oh, I guess I could have, like, a fun color hair. Why not, right? I mean, I didn't read anywhere in the rule book that it said that you had to have a traditional hair color. Of course, I didn't read the rule book, but... I never do. Let's do this bright fuchsia hair. I like it. And my pants. My pants are going to be. Oh, whoa, I, fr I didn't even know about this. Look at it. You can change your skin color too. I suppose I should maybe like look at everything before I start messing with it. I'm really pale, so. I'm not always pale though. In the summer, I swear, I, I do tan really well. But. Right now I'm pale. I guess that looks fine. I don't know. What what hair should we have? Oh, I'm digging the pigtails. Let's do that. Um, let's pick out our pants first. I want to wear a little... Let's wear this. I guess we only get three pants. We can pick out... I found this interesting. We can pick out our pants color, but not our shirt color. Also, fun fact, when I, um, I did just, like, go through this really quickly and I skipped the intro just to, uh, like, make sure that I, I actually wanted to change the controls a little bit because I, I knew I wasn't gonna like how they were default set, so I just kind of, like, went through this just so I could fix that for this video, so I swear, guys, I really, I really don't even know what I'm doing here, and that will be obvious once we start promise. <laughs> okay, I like this. It's pink. I'm gonna try to make my person look as outrageous as possible, because why not? It's the valley, guys. I mean, if you're not gonna take chances in the valley, where are you gonna take chances? Are these all, like, the same? I can't even tell. Oh, that's, no, that's too match. Oh, okay, that's cute. We have to do that's a mask, it looks like. I can't even tell what these things are. Glasses. Still can't tell what this stuff is. It looks like a necklace, but it's like a scary one. Okay, yeah, I'm just, I don't like any of those accessories. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to pick a type of farm. So, we've got, we've got our standard farm here, a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. We have our Riverland farm. Your farm is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Fish are more common here than usual. A forest farm. 
the woods limit your farming space, however, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Hilltop farm, rocky terrain, and a win winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. A wilderness farm, there's plenty of good land here, but beware, at night the monsters come out. I want this one, I think. Okay, then, and then we've got the Four Corners Farm, which is for a group, and the Beach Farm. Oh man, I, I think, I think we might start with a standard farm just for our first little playthrough here. But um. For my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. And here it goes. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. What is this? Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Ooh, this is about to get like weirdly accurate, I bet. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Again, this is getting real deep real quick. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Maybe we're ready now. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Now, let's grandpa rest. Sex years later. Joja. Oh, this looks terrible. Whatever this is. Smile, you're with Joja. Oh man. This doesn't look like a happy life at all. That looks like me. I think that's me. I think that's me, you guys. Uh oh, I think I'm having a, a seizure or something. It's not right. By the way, I just have to say this. That computer monitor was like <laughs> 10 times the size of my head. It is time. It is time to open the lucky envelope. Or, I don't know. Maybe it's not lucky. I don't know. I don't know what it holds. We're going to find out, though. Dear Bad Cat, if you are reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Shroot Farm. I guess my grandpa is Dwight. It's pretty cool. It's located in Stardew Valley. On the southern coast, it's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I'll make sure I hit up Lewis. Now, I don't know who Lewis is. Tis a mystery. We'll, fi we'll find out together, though. Okay, so it looks like um, we're off, we're headed off to our new life on Shroop Farm. I see, I probably, I can't get in trouble for ripping this off from like NBC because Shroop, it's, on the office it's called Shroop Farms. Mine is just Shroop Farm, so, you know, don't come at me please. Hello, you must be Bad Cat. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. Here's there. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. 
the farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Alright guys, it is time. The time has come. And here we go. Looks like this is home sweet home. Whoa! Girlfriend is going crazy. She keeps dreaming of water. Is she like dehydrated or something? <laughs> okay, all right. I I dig it. I can I can fly with this. We'll see. Oh, Lewis. I was supposed to say hi to him. Lewis, what's up? Lewis seems like a nice guy. I think, um, I think, I think we can trust Lewis. Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. I don't know about that. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, now I feel the pressure. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. I see. Robin says, rustic, that's one way to put it. So Robin has a little attitude on her, it would seem. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> you are not even funny. Agreed, Lewis. That was rude. Don't listen to her, bad cat. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, a trickster. I see. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from a long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Alright, well... Whatever the townspeople will appreciate. <coughs> Excuse me. I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Wait, which box? This one or this one? The mailbox? Okay, so here we go. Let's see, um, I just wanted to check out really quick what I've got here. I've got, the time isn't moving, that's weird. Okay, these are the different tools. What the heck? This is our map. Oh, here we go, that's Shroot Farm. I'm pretty sure Shroot Farm is a gigantic mess. I need to change these really quickly. So don't mind me. I, uh... I just hate how it's, like, set up, um... <laughs> to go. I like E, A... Move left, move down, there's S, and then move right. To access the journal, we'll use G, and then to move to the right, we'll use F. Down, we'll use D. There we go. Much more comfortable. Okay, let's see how, how I open this. Hey. Oh, I click on it like that. I told you guys, I really haven't played this at all. I don't know how to. Ooh, the mayor already sent me some parsnip seeds. Okay. Let's get out of this house. See what we've got waiting for us outside. Now, this looks like a huge mess. Oh. So, yeah. We've got these different little tools here. But while the day is young, I want to go meet people. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I'm supposed to do that too, but I'll do that first. 
I have 28 people to greet. I gotta go see who's out on the town, you know? Oh, I think that's how, you, how I leave. Wait, what's this? I guess I can pick this up. Wow, okay, okay. I think, uh... I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna be really good at this game. I don't even take the sidewalks, because I like to, um... I like to live on the edge. Hello, hello. I'm supposed to meet people. Shane, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Wow, you're rude. Thanks a lot, Shane. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not ready for early birds. I wonder if that place is the same. I'm not trying to go on this near the sewer. I'm assuming because it's there at some point. Um, You know, that's what that means. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. What up, Penny? This is Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Ooh, he's a jock. I'll see you around. Okay, who's this? Hey, old man, wait. He's got a mustache. Gus. He's got one of those curly mustaches. Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. That. Isn't this the rude guy I already talked to? Yeah, it is. He's mean. He's not even nice. I think all the businesses are open now. It's 9 a.m. Can I go in here? Oh, what the heck is this? Is this a person I can meet? Hello, Morris. When you decide you want to become a JoJo member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. What's this stuff? Oh, see. Let's get some bean starters and some cauliflower. Oh, I think, okay, I can't, it won't let me. Oh, there we go. I think I bought it. Is there anyone else in here? This place is weird. Fresh and cheap. That's how I like it. <laughs> Okay, who's this? Hey, come back. Well, I'm not interested in talking to Shane either. Bye bye. Okay. I came over here to see if I could cause mischief, but it doesn't look like I can. Um. I notice little animals around, like, I've seen a lot of, like, little butterflies and, like, but I can't, I'm not able to click on them, so, I don't know. Go in here. Oh. Hello. I guess I can just walk into people's houses. Evelyn says, why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, Granny. I love Granny. Is this Gram Grampy? <laughs> no, this is George. Hmm. It's irritating have to meet to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name George, by the way. Now buzz off. I don't think I've ever actually heard someone say the words "buzz off" in real life, like actually ever. Oh wait, so I can click on this. The dark blue life. Oh, okay. Let's go. Back this way. Oh, yeah. It's not too early to head into the saloon. It's like a brunch. 
Oh, just kidding. It is too early to head into the saloon. They're not even open yet. What's this? Hmm. We'll go in and see. The town's lost and found box. I definitely lost something. Pelican Town Marriage Log. After marriage, you may file for divorce here. Let's hope that is unnecessary. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Pelican Town Ledger Book. It looks like the mayor uses this to keep track of finances. A traditional tea setting. The mayor must be pretty serious about tea. Oh, so this is like the mayor's house. Or whatever. I guess. I don't know. That was, I can't. The, the divorce book is pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Uh... Who's this? Did I already meet you? Yeah, I must have. You look like you needed a moment alone. Who are you, blue-haired woman? Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Alright. Yeah, I'll check that out for sure. I find it weird that you can like look in people's fridges. Cupcakes, milk, and a tightly jarred, a tightly sealed jar of cornicons and quinoa salad. Like those are very specific things. Like I wonder why I have to, I wonder why I need to know that, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like that's, I don't know. I, I feel like there is a reason Super Fashion Girl Magazine? Ooh, can I steal it? No, I guess not. How come I'm always holding this axe? Oh, I think I fixed it. Oh, sorry, girl. I'm trying to leave. I'm just, like, getting lost. Okay, whose house is this? Is this a kid? Vincent. Ooh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah, I'd definitely be fine if a stranger just walked into my or in my house too and started talking to my children, you know. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Jody, what's up? I don't know how to take that. People keep saying that. I, I don't... Okay. Anyways, let's see how we're doing on our quest. 11 out of 28. We're still not even halfway there. This is somewhere. This is someplace. Oh, but only Leah's friends can enter. Well, that seems a little unfair. Is this Leah? This is Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Or whatever, girl. Let's see where we are on the map. Oh, okay. So we're almost back to my farm now. Which is good because I want to work on some stuff there. Um, I think for day one, it might not be bad. Um, we met a lot of people. Oh, look. There's another weird person just happening to be chilling over here by themselves. What the heck? Hey, who are you? Jazz. Hi. Okay, Jazz seems to be kind of shy, so we'll just leave that alone. These are pretty, these trees. I wanted to see what was over here. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. But let's go back to my farm. Oh wow. Okay, so this is like the the bottom part through here. Let's try to cut through here a little bit. Actually, okay, let's I've got the axe. Let's 
chop some wood. I wonder if the axe works. Yeah, it does. But it don't work for this. Pickaxe. But it'll cut the leaves, no problem. I was gonna say it should. Come on here. Okay, so I'm noticing as I'm doing this, my energy is leaving me. Why can't I? Oh, because they're already in my inventory is full. Oh, that's fine. I'm just trying to like break through here. Chop this down. Okay. Wow, look at this. This is like a this is like a forest. Looks like I have a ton of work to do on this little farm here, guys. Dwight would not be proud of me, that's for sure. I'm trying not to use up too much of my energy because I want to, um, I want to start clearing the area, um, you know, in front of my house first and foremost. Okay, so we're back to my house. I've got, my inventory is full. I'm pretty sure I can put stuff in here, though. Hopefully this isn't the place where I go to sell things. I guess we'll find that out the hard way. But these are all seeds that I've got left here. So, okay, where do I want to put my farm? Let's start by... Hearing some of this. Chop down some wood. Looks like you gotta get hit these ones a few times before they'll actually uh go down. <laughs> this one will probably take forever. Or maybe like I'll get better at it when as the game goes on. I don't know. I, um, I haven't watched any tutorial videos about this game, um, really I'm kind of playing blind, blind playthrough. I'm doing some work though with this, uh, machete, they call it a scythe, but whatever. Oh, it's like dark now. Okay, hold on. I'm not done yet. Uh, I want to break a few more. Like, that's in the way. That's in the way. That's in the way. I wonder if this one will break wood. No, that's weird. Okay. I kind of want to put my farm over here, actually. I'm getting kind of low on energy, <coughs> but the good news is, is that we are right next to my house being here, so, okay, let's use this hoe. snips. Let's plant. Let's plant. Let's plant the beans too. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And now this is a mixed seed and then the rest will do parsnips. I 
that help? I'm assuming it probably helps, but I really don't know. Oh yeah, I can tell there's a difference. No, I don't think I'm supposed to be outside anymore. Um, but I want to get this done for tomorrow. Day one is very important. It's going to set the tone for the, all the rest of our days. Productive day in the valley. Very good. Oh look, we we did something is happening. Day one of spring, year one. Not bad. Uh, we got ninety four golds. Okay. Day two. Sorry. Day two. Oh, Ooh, look it! I got lots of, I got lots of energy. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Well, I absolutely need that. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. Alright, Willie, that's weird. Am I able to water these again? I don't know. Oh, it looks like they might not need watered again. Okay. But, uh... Let's just do a little bit more work around here. Like, what's this stuff up here, for example? We've got some rocks. Like, what is that? What is that right there? That is something. Let me get uh, my scythe. I don't know. Am I saying that word right? I don't know. Or my pickaxe. I'm not even. I don't even have the right tool. What is in here? It's a cave. I wonder if things will grow in here. Oh, no! It won't even let me hoe the ground. What is this? Whatever this once was, it's now in ruins. Yeah, that's pretty apparent. Alright, well, let's go up here. Just because I'm curious. We did a little bit of clearing on our farm. <laughs> not much. I'm not much of a farmer. Um, never thought I would be. So, um, this is all very new to me. This. this looks like Prospector Pete. Oh, it's Linus. A stranger. Hello. Well, hey, look. We're we're even um working on our goal too while we're while we're out here. What is this? Some sort of weird. I wonder if I can chop things that aren't in my yard. Not that I want to because. Uh. Because my yard is, like, really full and I need to get rid of all that stuff. Anyway. What is all this? Uh, don't mind me, guys. I'm just, uh, doing a little exploring. You know, um, I don't know the map at all. Um, I'm really just kind of <laughs> running around blind here. Seeing what I run into. Um, look, this actually is proper prospectors feet. How do I get over there? I don't know. Strange. But let's go see what this is. Is 
Sorry, shop's closed for the day. I'm at Caroline's place for aerobics club. Robin. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot, Robin. Let's see what this thing says. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. He's the local father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go now. It's been nice. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been nice. Uh, speaking of, let's look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, it says single. So, that must mean something. That must mean that we need to, like, date someone in the game. I don't know. Oh, visit the beach before 5 p.m.? I didn't know that we only had until 5 p.m. Well, we better find out where the beach is then. The beach is all the way down there. Oh my goodness. We've got to hurry, guys. Well, goodbye, whoever you are. I already forgot your name. <laughs> wonder what this is. <clears throat> it's locked. Okay. Well, I gotta go to the beach anyways. But, um, I just wanted to stop by there and say hello. I wonder if I can would it get through here. Oh, yeah, that's that. Oh, yeah, we were here the other day. This is that same guy. <clears throat> the beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. How did you know that's where I was headed? It's a little creepy. Looks like I can go this way. Hopefully this is the, this is the beach. He's smoking a he's smoking something. A cigarette, maybe something a little stronger, who knows? Willie. Ahoy there, miss heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Very good, very good, Willie. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I think we just got something cool. You received a bamboo pole. Bada bing, bada boom. So, now that we've got um, a fishing pole, obviously, we should be able to go fishing. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Alright, down there. I'll just leave you all alone there. Get on down there by the river. Okay, I'm done. Um, I do need to, like, we do need to use this, like, one time. Oh, wait. That was bad, I think. Mm, okay, if I hold that down, then I then it casts. I don't know how you actually catch one, though. Maybe I, like, click or something? I don't get it. I don't understand how to catch the fish. Maybe I'm supposed to... Oh, maybe it's when the little exclamation point comes up. Uh, keep bar behind fish. Whoa! 
This is hard. I got one. A sardine. Okay. Cool. That's all fine and dandy. Let's go into this shop and see what we can get, though. So my only, my only problem is that, um, I don't have any room. So let's see if I can s Oh! I can't. Oh, let me see. It's a lot easier to use than other rods, but you can only catch basic fish. I might need this. If I catch basic fish, I can sell a few, a few of them, right? And then, um, once I sell a few of them, Oh, my inventory is full. Man. Uh, alright. That's okay. We'll go back. We're gonna go into town, actually. Or we're gonna go somewhere else. Yeah, because there's like all sorts of cool stuff. Am I allowed to plant stuff here? Because I'm just gonna plant these. I want some shells. I don't need this stuff. Or do I? I don't know if I need it or not. <laughs> I'm like carrying it on my head. Okay, fine. I guess I guess we'll have to come back. I don't understand. You guys have to bear with me. I told you this is totally a blind playthrough of this game. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm not a huge fan of you, Elliot. That's a lot. Okay, I want to go to this store that they mentioned. What's this? If you bring me a cold carrot, I don't know what that is. I just accepted the quest though, so we might want to find out sooner than later. Oh, I can sell these. Nice. I'm gonna grow some more beans too. Cause I already know that this is gonna be expensive. Let's see how expensive it is. I didn't want to give Lewis a gift. What the heck is going on in here? I don't know how to not give them things. Uh, maybe if I just carry an axe? No, I'll carry my fishing pole. That's less threatening. Hello, you must be Bad Cat, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. And then Robin, I already met. Marnie. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. And then who's this? Jody. Okay, guys, let's see how far we in are into this. 18 out of 28. Nice. Is there anybody else in here? that? What's that paper? Oops. To Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of the recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Joe Jacal has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protest. Joja builders have already broken ground for the new Joja Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby, and now, obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. As a manager of the new Georgia Mart, I feel, to some degree, personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer. Wages start as five, at five gold an hour. I look forward to seeing your resume. Whoa. 
assistant grocer, huh? Well, I mean, that is a very big position they're offering. I mean, not every day that you- Hey! Abigail, we got another one. Another one in the wild. Well, Pierre needs to pay better attention to the shop. Okay, guys, it's 520. I'm going to go into the saloon now. I wonder, can I throw stuff away? <laughs> Thanks a lot, dude. Who's this? Have I met you? Oh, yeah, I met Shane. He's the mean one. Okay. I am not this bad. Yes, I do. I am not this bad at remembering faces in real life, but it, believe it or not, in this game, the faces kind of run together. They're kind of all the same. Hey kid, name's Pam. Oh, there's Shane. I, I want to just do my fishing pole at him. Why can't I talk to you? Okay. A beer is 400 gold? I don't want a recipe, I want I want actual food. Let's get bread. I can't because my inventory is full. What the heck kind of debacle is this? I'm gonna have to go home and uh this is a good lesson for us to learn though for um our day tomorrow because obviously I need to make sure that my uh whoa that my inventory is not so full of stuff. Aw, Marnie's kinda cute. I like her name, Marnie. Aww. Okay guys, it's getting late in the valley. So I'm gonna head back to Shroot Farms now. And uh, I'm gonna put some stuff in my little box. Here. I think that's what this is for. If not, I might be just selling. I think I'm selling this stuff. I don't even know. I don't even, I really don't. I want to be able to put stuff down, but I don't know how. <laughs> okay, I need my hoe. Because we got two more bean starters and I'm assuming that um, once we get start um, actually producing why won't this work once we actually start producing some um, some fruit and herbs and vegetables whatever I don't even know what parsnips are a vegetable. Um, I'm assuming the whole game plan here is you sell them and then uh, and that's how you get money in the game. But I I kind of wanted this to be a blind playthrough just because then it's a little more authentic, you know? But okay. Okay, so we have to refill that at any water source. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this time to try to clear some of my land before I run out of energy. And tomorrow when we leave and when we leave the house tomorrow, um, I'm definitely gonna wanna make sure that I have um you know, a few spaces at least in my inventory. Oh, I can cut down trees. Look at how much of my energy it's using. Look how much wood I got though, oh my goodness. I got sap. This is taking all of my energy. Um, I'm gonna go inside and go to sleep before, um, before we pass out here.
video is getting a little glitchy. I don't know why. Okay, guys. That was day two. Um, hope you're enjoying this video so far. Um, I always forget to say this. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we're going to continue and do another day or so, but I just wanted to throw that in there. Throw that in there. Well, um, well, we've got this loading, so. Okay, Wednesday, day three. Oh, I wonder if I can put my stuff down. In here. No, it just wants me to throw things. Okay, whatever. stuff the nerve of that creature <clears throat> oh so this is how you sell stuff but I need room though like for real and it kind of sucks because like how am I supposed to get enough gold? It's gonna take a long time. I feel like I might be missing something. But okay, we're gonna spend a bit of time right now doing some clearing. Doing a little bit of clearing. I want to clear out a pathway that's um between our little our little cabin here and uh and the um and this path and then there's a path too on the bottom. So um those are probably my first priorities. isn't strong enough. Oh, really? But it can break this one, I guess. Okay. It's real early in the day, and I'm already using, like, all of my energy. I'm okay with it. I wonder what happens if I'm, like, dead tired by, like, before noon in the game. I probably just have to go to sleep, right? we can kind of test that out. But another thing I'm thinking is that you probably get quite a bit of how you get your gold originally is probably by doing what we're doing right here. sick you guys okay I thought like there's got to be a way to like store things right I don't want to eat the sap I want to be able to store things but apparently I can literally only have like this much stuff at a time. Are you serious? Wow, bro. Okay. Well, I guess we have to sell all these resources that we have come about. I'm going to keep working until I pass out. Because that is the way to do things. Geode. That's pretty cool. I wonder what a geode is, you guys. Figure out what a geode is. Um, 
So it's 11 a.m. and I am... Oops, I'm trying to use a pickaxe to cut down this little tree. Wow. Struggling. I am exhausted. That was the fastest day ever. I go to sleep at 11 a.m. Oh my gosh. Oh, but I made some serious gold yesterday, you guys. That's that's what it is. I'm I'm thinking like I need to have a full day, right? Like I didn't even like hang out with anybody. But um I think the whole premise of this game might be, you know, each day might not be as important as I think. Like each, each individual day, it's what you do with your days as a whole. Maybe I don't know. Look at this; doesn't use any energy. That's interesting. So I can clear all of this out, I guess, without using any energy. Stumps and the rocks take energy, which obviously makes sense, but I mean, even doing this ain't so easy. Um, I'm coming down here because I want to fill up my little watering can. But, um, you know, it's kind of a maze. Oh wow, that was easy. Alright. <laughs> A little baby one. Alright, so... Um... I kind of want to continue a little bit of what we were up to before. Um... Cleaning up a bit. I think what I'll do though is I'll do this a little bit more, um, a little bit better order. Maybe I'll go around and I'll do rocks, and I'll go around and I'll do another thing, but it, oh, not strong enough. But, um, at first, I really couldn't even get through here <laughs> without, you know. Just adjusting very well to the farm life, as you can see. Oops. Clearing out a whole bunch of stone this morning. I can't clear out those big ones. They look really weird. Like gross. <laughs> okay, clear out some of this. All this stuff apparently so at first I thought that that box near the front which obviously is what Lewis was talking about at the beginning I thought that was um, like uh, inventory box so I was like there's no way we only get like 10 spaces I'm pretty sure that is actually all we get right now so um, I really don't have a choice but to sell all this stuff that I am um, uh, finding here because if I want to pick up anything I have to have space in my pockets or my inventory and um, and I can't put anything down I guess either so like I don't want to have two fishing poles I shouldn't have bought the second one. I don't know how to put it down though, the other one. So we'll try to figure that out together. Uh, I 
at some point. What's this? A little weed. Okay, so I went and filled up my watering can. That stupid bird came and ate my, um, what was here in that spot right there, a parsnip. I'm not impressed with it at all. I don't know how to tell when these are ready to harvest either. I'll probably get like a prompt or something. I'm assuming when they're ready, but uh, who knows. Alright, so let's sell this stuff. I'm not going to sell that geode. Because I want to know what that is. But, um, it's already, uh, it's already about, oh, well, it's 1 p.m. now on, on the farm. I have to apologize because I keep wanting to say on the island, and that is strictly because I've been playing Animal Crossing for so long. I'm like so. I was so addicted to it, still addicted to it, but, so, if I use Animal Crossing terms every now and again, I apologize. <laughs> but, okay, so this seems to be a really good way, though, to get money right off the bat, which, it really kind of sucks walking around town and trying to do stuff and not having any space in your pockets at all to pick up anything. So, we'll sell that, we'll sell that, we'll sell that. Oh, and we found some seeds. So, hopefully I don't pass out, but I'm going to plant these really quick. And then I'm going to water them quick. And then I'm going to go to bed. This is a very early bedtime. 2 p.m. It's better than yesterday, though, in the game, you guys, because... I think it was like 11 a.m. yesterday and we have leveled up level one mining plus one pickaxe proficiency and new crafting recipe a cherry bomb day four all right we earned some more gold not bad not bad I actually don't know what will qualify as good and as bad in this game so please don't reserve your harsh judge or please do reserve your harsh judgments <laughs> i got some mail to our valued jojo mart customers our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake i like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal uh blah 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 Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris. I don't trust Morris. I think I... I you guys, look at... We can, we can harvest. I just harvested some parsnips. I be harvesting. Looks like the beans aren't ready yet though. So we should water them. And water these. And water these. Water these. And water that thing. What's this? Why does this one have a star by it? Oh, I just go like this and sell them, I guess. Yes! And we just got some gold. Build a coop. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or barn so that you can raise animals. And another thing we've got is, as you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A 
scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. We've already saw that happen to us. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. Oh, we about to craft the best scarecrow you've ever seen. We're still not done with introductions. Let's go into town right now. Grab that. What's this? What happens if I go in here, I wonder? Nothing. to see here. I guess there's another death pill up there or whatever that was, but I guess I'll leave it for now. I just, I need to go into town and see some of my friends. Like Lewis. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. Something's happening. This is Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. Hmm. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Young people are the worst. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use some money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Georgia Company me membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I'm going to kill anybody who buys one. We're not going to let this happen. We are not going to let this happen. Look at, look at this. This is right up my alley. I love interior design. Just leave it to me. I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. That's cute. They made that. That's, that's like super creative. Good for them. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What's that, an alien? That was weird. It looked like an alien to me. Yeah, there's an alien. Hmm, you saw something. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. thinks I'm cray cray. You're worrying me, bad cat. Apparently I should be. I'm seeing things. Okay, bye. Oh, these are, he's gonna leave it unlocked. Okay, so he's gonna leave it unlocked means we'll have to come back and explore this building. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh, uh, oh, okay, it's still early, it's still got full. Oh, let's investigate the community center while we're right here. I mean, might as well. I don't know why the game's running a little glitchy at the moment, but, um, should be okay. Let's try to find something I can interact with. This is weird. I'm not seeing a lot of anything in here. Nothing I can seem to uh, interact with anyway. Like 
except for what is this? Ah, obviously. But obviously, you guys just also saw that little creature that just ran out when I walked in there. So something is up. Something is up. No idea what that's about. And I also don't know... I don't know what we're supposed to find in here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll come back, though. I've got too many other things to do to worry about this right now. Like, meet more people. I think, though, we're almost about done with that part of the little, uh, with our little quests that we have. I think that's, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that's about completed. But, okay, we're back in town. Here's my friend. Hey, it's Worm Girl. Did you get new pants? You're doing something right. Ooh, hey, hey. Oh, there's my, there's George and Granny. <laughs> oh, George and Granny. I don't think I've gone into the trailer yet. Who's this? Oh, Pam. That, I met Pam yesterday, remember? We met her in the saloon. And now we go to her house, and she lives in a little trailer, and she seems really sad. So that is sad. It kind of sucks. What is this? Looks like a place for me to meet a bunch of new people. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, let me know. I found that one thing, a geode. I found a geode. I wonder how I... Okay. Well, um, anyway. These look like people I can meet. Oh, I already met them. I already met them all. Oh, that sucks. I still, I'm not sure how many people I have left. We can check. Um, we still have eight people left to meet. Wow, okay. I'm having trouble meeting. I'm having trouble finding more people. But also, it's only been a few days. This is only day five. So, um getting there slowly but surely so this is weird it says oh tips on farming use fertilizer to improve quality reduce workload or hasten crop growth fruit trees make all take all seasons to grow but they require very little maintenance keep the area directly around your new sapling clear or else it may not grow properly crops will die as soon as the season ends unless they grow in multiple seasons like corn some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with the scythe. Huh. Interesting. Well, we checked out the library. This must be the library. Um, sure looks like it to me. I'm gonna look at the map, though, real quick, because... Okay, that's that Joja Mart place. The Mayor's Manor. Um, Harvey's Clinic. I don't know where the blacksmith is. We went down here. Marnie's Ranch. Uh, Pierre's General Store. Okay. So it looks like the only place we have yet to go on the map is... Oh. Oh, this must be the blacksmith. Press 
process geode. Yes. What? A, okay. I don't know what that is. But let's upgrade our tools. I wonder if. Oh, whoa. Let's not upgrade our tools. Okay. Sorry. Never mind. Shop. I don't need any of that. Okay. Interesting. So, um. Now at least we learned where the blacksmith is. I bet that I can um, now use these. Uh, or now use this information to help me out quite a bit. Uh, first of all, I'm going to upgrade my uh, inventory because it really, really is not efficient having this little amount of space that I have. Um, but it's 2.30 p.m. I still have my full energy, actually, so I'm going to go home and do some more, um, digging up things while, uh, while the sun is up and while I've got some energy. It's kind of taking the long way home. Who are you? Have I met you? No, Sam. So there, we found another new one. And this, I'm assuming, would be Marnie's Ranch. Marnie! Supplies. Just animals, though. I can't do that yet. Okay. Is there anyone else in your house that I can eat? No? Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of weird. Alright. I gotta go. I, uh... We still gotta get... We've gotta double our gold at least because we need to, um... We need to make some... We need to get that, uh... Or shoot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we need to get that uh, expansion for our inventory. It's going to really help us out a lot. Um, uh, I'm thinking in terms of like I'll be able to like go fishing and whatnot and not have to like immediately worry about emptying out my inventory and all of that, you know? And then that means that I'll be able to collect more resources at once as well. Which allows me to, um, which allows me to, uh, just collect more money at once, too. So, win, 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 win. I'm not trying to hit that. I'd actually rather prefer to start over here and work down a bit. And just all this like greenery is a lot. Okay. So, um, for example, let's start. That was a little harder than it needed to be. That's what she said. I watch too much of The Office. Uh, okay, so like I said, I'm just uh, just collecting some resources here. I want to use up my energy um, and get some money too. So like uh, I can't pick up that sap because my pockets are full. So I'm gonna go over here. I don't even know, I, I don't know if I should be, I can't keep these things because, like, I just can't, um, I don't have anywhere to, to keep them, and I literally need space in my inventory, so, yeah, I'll come back over here so I can get my sap and whatnot. Where uh, 
just working our way. Um, like I said, I kind of wanted to start after some a little bit of thought. I wanted to start um, clearing from my cabin out or my house or whatever you want to call it out. And uh, I don't know, maybe that'll help designing in the future. I'm not really sure. Again, totally blind playthrough here, as I've said, guys. So cut me some slack if I suck at this game because I didn't look at anything beforehand to help me at all. <laughs> I'm about dead for the day, it looks like. But I think I can get one more. Or maybe a couple more. Before I die of exhaustion. A couple more of these little sticks, maybe. Yeah, I probably should go to bed now. I'm, uh, I'm pushing the limit here. And, oh, but before we go, we'll put our stuff in there, and then we're going to go to bed. Look at us going, up st going to bed at 9.30 on a weekend night. We're such good, good little farmers. Hopefully we got some good money from all the stuff. Okay, we leveled up in foraging. Plus one, axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds. And field snot. Snock? I don't know what that is. Wow, okay. We got some gold. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We almost have enough gold now to upgrade our inventory. Not quite, but close. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. Oh, the rat problem. Okay, that doesn't have a time limit on it. So, I, you guys, I'm really impatient about this whole not having enough space in my inventory thing. So, I think we're going to use this Saturday to, to clean up our island a bit. Not our island, oh my gosh, I, I'm so sorry, our farm. I gotta get out of the Animal Crossing state of mind. But I'm taking down some trees. Clearing a bunch of stuff. And that's actually more over here. Um, clear out some of this. And look at my, uh, my pockets are already full again. Go figure. <laughs> oh, also we can water our little, um, our plants too. Oh, we can grow trees from this. Cool. I don't have time for that right now, but, um, Good to know for the future. And uh, before I forget to, we need to water our plants over here. It looks like I still can't harvest any, or at least I can't harvest the beans yet. Obviously, they take longer than the parsnip does to uh, to grow in, but. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna cut down some more trees. Ones that are in the way, like this one. Fiber. And look at it's 9 a.m. and we're already getting tired. Beautiful. Let's 
continue. Just I'll just uh, continue clearing some weeds here. Oops, there we go. <laughs> I accidentally grabbed the pickaxe. But oops, this is pretty easy, and this actually doesn't use any energy, really. But my inventory is full, and look at it's let, it's before noon, and we're already almost dead for the day. <laughs> but gonna be worth it once we can get our our uh, our inventory upgrade so I'm just gonna keep at it uh, here until uh, until I'm too tired to continue or too exhausted as uh, the game says here in the left corner or the right corner And get this last one. Okay. And now, here we go. Okay, so I'm about to pass out from exhaustion. Let's go up here, sell some stuff. And now that is our Friday, or that is our Saturday. It is not even noon, and we are in bed for the evening. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, I just wanted to click on that and see what that meant. Alright. Guys, it's day seven, last day of the week. Let's see what we've got in store for us today. I'm awake. Are you serious? It's still not time to harvest these? I wonder if I have them planted right. Because I'm confused why they're taking so long. Just maybe, I mean, I don't even know. It's because the parsnips didn't take any time at all. So I'm just kind of wondering, you know, what that's all about. But, okay, I'm going to continue doing a little bit of clearance. We still got to go visit the wizard, but, um, I, uh, like I said, we are, at this point, we are so close to, um, getting, being able to buy our little inventory upgrade, and after that, I think it will be a lot more beneficial to explore the island once not the island, oh my goodness. Explore the map once we're able to carry more than like two things at a time, you know? So uh, that's what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna make the, the most out of our day here. What is that? Oh, it's a pine cone, but my inventory is full again already. Actually, let's do this. Just because I guess I can plant that. I don't know. Alright, we'll, we just, uh, I just wanted to see what that would do. Um, another thing I've noticed here is that uh, obviously once things aren't planted in a spot anymore, then where you hold that area, it will go back to normal after a few days. So it's just one little tidbit that I've picked up on since we've started here. Working on some more trees.
And this has got to be, maybe this will probably maybe be able to like harvest something off of this like dilapidated building eventually, but I don't know. Um, this one that's up in the left hand corner in the top, I don't know what that's about. Uh, I'm assuming, you know, I, there's a lot in this game we have yet to learn, which I hope so. We're only, we're only an hour and a half in, you know, I hope we haven't, I hope there's still a lot left to discover, you know, so. I'm about to pass out. Looks like. So let's, uh, get rid of that. I'm gonna also plant these because I'm curious. It'll probably just end up being, you know, like, um, it'll just, you know, a new tree will grow there, but I, I don't know, maybe I'll get some sort of achievement or something, I don't know. So, okay. And we are gonna go to sleep for the night. And that would be day seven of spring, year one. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this video, but um, make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.